What's up guys and welcome back to Polybridge. Last episode we managed to finish our clean sweep of Alpine Meadows. We did everything 12 out of 12, everything under budget, so that was great. And I think there were only a couple of challenges for us, only a couple of bridges that really rustled our jimmies. But this episode we're going to start on the next world which is actually called Desert Winds and it looks really cool. A 12 meter low budget bridge, $7,000 school bus and wood, okay. So once again, what's the catch? We have unlimited wood, unlimited road, and it seems like a relatively easy bridge. Don't we just kind of do this? I don't know if the worlds would get like progressively harder. I would imagine they do. Otherwise, it'd be kind of uneventful to keep playing the game. But at the same time, I'm not sure. So isn't doesn't that do it? Isn't that? Oh, that's what it means by low budget. We only have seven thousand dollars. So how are we going to make this cheaper? Maybe we can make it really low? Like, can we make it super low to the ground? Because the thing, the way the game works is it's not based on the amount, like the, the pieces of wood you use, it's the length of the wood. So a shorter piece of wood actually costs less than a longer one. Oh, that's under budget. Just barely. We're under budget by, what, $28? Oh god, you can't even buy most games for that. Oh crap. Oh, I want to try that again. I feel like that that should work. Come on, go, go, go. Ah. What if we do something like this? I don't know if this is technically more secure or less secure. I feel like this would be more secure. We do the same thing over here. Let's keep it real low. Real long. It's like max length and then shortest length possible. And then that, that. Oh, we're over budget. Do I need that one? I probably need that one. Let's see. Yeah, I definitely need that one. Okay, how about that? That's that's different. It's very different. So let's see where are you could be weak. Go go. Ooh, that's a lot stronger. That's a lot stronger than the last one. I think we're good. I think we're gonna make it. All right, that's really interesting. I would have never guessed that. So apparently, perfect triangles are weaker than kind of the, um, what are they called? Isosceles? No. Oh, I can't remember now. But that shaped triangle, the kind of longer rectangular ones, are cheaper and stronger. We're gonna have to remember that. A 16 meter double decker. Ooh, this is cool. $32,000. Okay, so we're not going to be under budget. Uh, city car and surfer van, wood, steel, and cable. Ooh, so we need to get both of them. Which one goes first? That's probably important. Or they go at the same time. And you know what? People have been calling me sadistic, so let's just watch them go for a swim. So let's see. We have unlimited wood, two steel, unlimited cable. We haven't used the cable before. I think it's just a cheap way to connect things. And that kind of inclines me to think that we need to build a bridge up here and a bridge down here. This bridge is going to be almost completely supported by the cable to this bridge. And then this bridge is going to be the one that's actually like strong, sturdy. So if we would triangle this off... Like that. We're still under budget? Okay. Is that enough? That might be enough. Oh, it's not even kind of enough! Okay. I think that's okay. We're under budget. I don't know how strong this is. Not very strong. Connect our cables. Like that. Is that good? That might be okay. Come on. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the speed up just a little bit. Oh! It didn't fall apart on the first go. That's a good start. Oh god, the weight! Oh, we're making progress. What went wrong? It's just, it's not enough in the middle. And then it just cracks on the sides. Crap. You know what I think our problem is? It's those little tiny triangles that we used the last time. They work for getting under budget. They worked for us that time. But I don't think that they're doing us any favors this time. So let's see. I got the big triangles going now. We got wide open spaces. It's already looking a little bit stronger. Oh, we're gonna get there! Yeah, alright! Oh, you know, and I was right, those 
uh, it's we're learning something new every time so you can use the smaller triangles to get under budget to get something light across but when it comes to bearing weight they just aren't useful you need those perfect three-sided triangles to really bear as much weight as possible I uh, see it's an educational experience 12 meter drawbridge $29,000 a city car a station wagon and a tugboat wood and a piston oh not another drawbridge so we don't have any steel this time. Oh, no, 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 not a joint. Stop that. Stop that. We don't have any steel this time, which is kind of one of the biggest things you need with a drawbridge because it bears all the weight of the bridge when you bring it up. So I don't think we're going to be able to try anything fancy like taking up the middle section or taking up a big piece of the bridge. I have a feeling because it's so evenly spaced, we're going to have to just split this point and lift it properly. Oh man, let's see if we can make this work. So I think once again, we need to go back to the sturdy three-sided triangle. Three-sided. All triangles are three-sided. Don't listen to me. So all of our support is going to come from like this section here. This is pretty much going to be where all the weight is going to go is this cross section. So hopefully that is okay. And if we put our pistons like that, that put, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. I want to put it, stop, 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 go away. I want to put them like this. I want to pull it out as far as possible. Is that going to work? I feel like it's not enough. Like this isn't enough up here. Oh, secure so far. I Is that a piston? It doesn't look like one. Okay, it is. And up. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. What did it, it like broke off a little bit. Oh, it broke a piston. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you going to make it? Oh, okay, we made it. That was so close! I need to see that again. I need to see it. How close was that? That was like razor thin. Come on now, boat. And then... Oh yeah, it actually like, it hits a part of it. And it, mess it messes it up. It breaks the hydraulics and sets off the bridge. But you know what? Doesn't matter. Because we cheat the system! <laughs> 42 meter suspension bridge? Holy crap, this is huge. $84,000 city car and station wagon, wood steel suspension cables. Ooh, this is very, oh, suspension cables. We haven't seen these before. What is a, oh, I think I know what these are. These are what I thought the cables were. So if we build our road, because that's what you need to start with anyway, it's gonna go over this. We don't need to worry about hitting that. Then, I think we can do, come on, steel, work with me. There we go. Steel, steel, now. I think you can connect this. Yeah! And it makes like, um, it makes like a wire that we can connect things to. So now we can just connect everything. I don't like that though. I don't like how short it is. Can we get, can we get another thing of steel on there, I wonder? Is that, that's probably just going to fall over, wouldn't it? Like, we did that, that's just... No, it's apparently not. Apparently, you can double up steel and it's gonna be solid. Okay, so we'll do that. And then we'll put our suspension thing across. Because then it should be... Yeah, it'll be above. Oh, we could have moved it up or down anyway. I think it's fine. Okay. So is that gonna do it? I know we have these points, but I still... I want to see if that's enough. I think I was right the first time. Okay, try that one. The same problem, ah. So then I guess these need to be, these need to be secured somehow, or this needs to be held up. So I guess we do actually need to use this little, uh, little helper here. Make a couple of uh, simple supports. We've done these in the past, these aren't too bad. You can just kind of X everything off. Like that. That's one. Oh, we got tons of budget left. We got lots of room to play with here. How does that look? Any better? 
Looks real good around here, still real crap around the edges. Yeah, the problem is these sticks that at the end, I'll slow it down, they don't, they don't hold themselves up. They're not supporting anything, you need triangles over there. So I guess we need to actually start the ends of the bridge solid and then make it a suspension in the middle, which means I need to start all over again. There we go. We're still under budget. Oh, I missed one here, maybe? There we go. Does that look good? I think that looks a lot better. Oh, why? Hmm. What am I doing wrong? Oh, I get it. That's what these two things are for. I'm supposed to build up off of these and suspend between them. Oh, it, once you get it, you feel like such an idiot. Okay, let's try this again. There. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of fast forwards for this video because I am spending a lot of time building and not saying anything, but this, I think this looks better. The whole idea is these two parts are very secure, I hope. And then everything else should be kind of building off of them before I just kind of had the bridge trying to hold up the bridge, which doesn't really make sense. So let's see, is that... about that oh oh okay we had some parts break but I think it's only the bridge that's a real problem for the bridge not the cars oh you're so close what is going on so it's breaking here and here right off the bat because it is just getting pulled on way too hard by all of this suspension and then, when the cars go, they don't have any real problem with the wooden parts. The wooden parts are okay. But once the, all the weight of suspension gets added onto this seems to break? Is that right? That's the part that just kind of craps out? Oh, and over here. Okay, I think we can fix this really quick. Oh. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, I think I've made a few minor changes. Oh, oh, it didn't break. It didn't break at all. Okay, we need to speed this up. Go, go, go. This, this, I changed these to metal. The points that were breaking are now metal, and the stress is real big. Come on, we're still under budget too. Yes, finally, I did it. Oh my god, that was such a stress. Max joint stress, 81%. Max captain saw stress, 110 I think that's going to be it for this episode of Polybridge, guys. And again, I'm sorry if there's a lot of, like, jumps in between bridge attempts and, like, fast-forwarding through building. Because, like I said, I spent a lot of time building. I think I've been recording for almost an hour now. We only got through four bridges, so... The challenge is kind of ramping up. We're getting a little more complicated, which is what I want. Uh, it's what I want in this game. It's the reason I play it is because I want to be challenged. I want to build original cool things for you guys to see. So I'm really happy with the way that these games are going. But thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. That was massive. We really could not have gotten all that out faster. Damn it. 10,000. Okay, I'll take it. How'd everybody else do? Uh, oh god, we gotta look at Hello there, I'm Rainer the Trainer. Rainer the Trainer. <laughs>